I'm an educator at heart. Uh, that's something a lot of people may not know about me, that I used to be a substitute teacher. Um, so I love educating from the babies on up. And this just tells you a story about the life of black Americans in different walks of life. This morning I'm putting the finishing touches on the memorial to Mr. McGee, who was a Tuskegee Airman. He had a great legacy. Not only was he a Tuskegee Airman, but he also was a, a collegiate. Uh, he went to college in uh, Southern Illinois, Champaign-Urbana area. Um, and he did many tasks with training up the coming youth. So he has had his hand in the lives of young men and women all the way through his life. And he recently passed about a little less than a month ago. And so I thought this would be a great way to honor him. In this display, we are honoring women and their contributions. Uh, we have government officials, we have civil rights leader, we have a poet laureate, uh, we have the gymnasts, we have an operatic singer. We have, of course, in the tennis world, they rule Venus and Serena. Um, so it just tells a story, and I just thought it would be good to show our recent contributions with the past. Um, this presentation is about black males, and I have statues that talk about fatherly figures, and of course we have the greatest, one of the greatest ball players, Hank Aaron, better known as Hammer and Hank. Um, and this gentleman is a boxer from the Port Arthur Beaumont region. Um, but my display is to show the life of a man and or a father. And so we have this that says, the poem on the wall picture says that the man I am, and it tells you a story. And then we have a book by a very well-known activist. His name is W.E.B. Du Bois. This is a compilation of 40 documentaries. While treasure shopping, I came upon these pieces. Um, I know that we originated from Africa, our foreparents. So this is just a sample of some of the various tribes in Africa, their artwork. So this is a, a picture by an artist named Mabuk, Mabuk, and he painted a water baptism, a comet. Okay. They went to the, the rivers and the streams to do water baptisms, as opposed to now we have churches that have the baptismal pools. This particular painting is a remembrance of the Buffalo Soldier and how they interacted with the Indian tribes. It just shows you how much depth we have as Black Americans. This particular piece, uh, author is unknown, or the artist is unknown, um, but it's depicting a Black historical representation and it's dealing with music. And you know, music is the life of people. It is Black History Month, and we're always looking for doing stories that basically help tell the Houston story, and this is something that uh, Ms. Gaddis put some work into, and she really dedicated a lot of her time, and I think it's a really interesting story. It's a fascinating story, so always look for stories that we want to just try to highlight the very best of our, of our employees and our citizens, and uh, I think this is definitely one of those stories. It's good to educate others and to bring to remembrance the things of the past. And so it's always important to show the great contributions that we have given to society. And I enjoy sharing the artifacts that I have collected.